Hello. I'm in the office. Do you remember those? Um, of course, there's no one actually here. It's just screens full of people on Zoom, which is nice enough these days. Um, something just happened today. I was on a Zoom call with 15 potential clients. Actually, two of them were already clients. They'd come back to ask some other questions. It's a regular thing we do. Uh, we run a discovery call uh, once or twice a, a week sometimes. Um, anyway, that's by the by. Uh, what happened in that call is something that it just made me want to record a video because it's rare that the questions get, it was almost like they were a plan. You know, the questions got um, uh, lined up for me in the right order. I answered them and you could just see the brain start ticking. It was like, I just felt that it's rare that it happens like that. I do a lot of talking, you might have noticed. Um, but actually, I only talk about 12 things, pretty much. There's a few things around the edges that I might talk about sometimes, but you can reverse engineer that one way or the other. Um, I talk about 12 things and, you know, Talk about the majors in other videos as well. That's not I'm here to talk about today, but it's you know find, fix, rent, teach, inspire, and then um, you, you, you've got to look after you know three lines of defence, and then the three focuses when you're in management. If you reverse engineer that, you can sort of cascade up. It's a it's a it's a it's a tree. You know, there's there's a, there's a couple of things above that. One is you know this, and one's that, and then you come up. Basically, there's only one statement I make and then two things. That's it, that's all we need to remember. Uh, and by the time you get up there, sometimes it can be a bit abstract. I say property is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth. And then I say we have two problems. Problem number one, landlords don't own enough property. And number two, landlords aren't happy enough. Now, that's all relative. I believe that because property is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth, you should own more houses, but you should do it and you should be happy. Um, anyway. I was in a Zoom call today, like I say, and we were going through it. I'm on the Zoom call, Adam's on the call as well, Harriet was in the room, and you know, we're just talking, answering questions, that's what the day's for, it's great. I'd say day, it, it, it's two hours on Zoom, um, then one-to-ones afterwards. Um, and you could see there was one chap, and he, he's, uh, first of all, please, please don't get me, get me wrong here, I'm, I am not, uh, there's no such thing as a silly question, and I was delighted to be able to, I'm not sort of looking down on this guy saying, oh, you just don't get it. The fact that he got it was like magic to me, you know, and you could you could see. Um, but you could see he, he was an enthusiastic property person, let's say that, that was his starting point. Uh, but all throughout this, um, I could see him write down notes. He said, and almost just threw his hands up in the air, not quite metaphorically on this, but I'm going to need hundreds of these things, he was said. And I said, well, okay, look, let's dig into that a little bit. And um, how much do you want to make every single month? That's the starting point. Uh, and the answer came back as £10,000. And I could very quickly say, well, you need 40 properties then. Uh, because I know that on average, and I've done this before, people usually say, quite often, multiples, you know, five, 10, 20, whatever it is, £1,000. And it's not, I'm not the greatest mathematician, but I, I can work out that £250 a month, which is what our average property nets, um, times times 40, and it's, uh, it's £10,000. Now, would it end up being 38 or 42? Let's not worry about that. Let's just concentrate on 40. And at that point, you can see the guy's mind going, hmm, well, it's not hundreds, but it is 40, and that is a lot. And I say, property is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth, and landlords don't own enough property. You, you can't own five or 10, you need 20, 40, 80. What is it? Pick your number. But it's not two, three, four, or five. That's why I say, you need to own more properties. Landlords don't own enough. So when I said 40, the very next thing he said, guess what he said? Well, that'll be a load of hassle, won't it? You know, 40 chimney pots. Landlords don't own enough property. Landlords aren't happy enough. So yeah, if you, if you do this wrong, it will be an absolute nightmare that will never end. If you do this right, it won't be. There's a ways of managing 40 chimney pots. Hell, there's ways of managing 400 chimneys chimney pots, you know, tenancies, 400 tenancies, uh, without being a hassle. Um, so let's not say that it's going to be, there's, there's ways also of ha managing two properties and making it a lot of hassle. It's getting the systems and the processes right. Otherwise, how on earth are you going to manage 40 properties? Um, it was at that point, I've got those two points in, I start to then, you can see it ticking, it's like, oh, I guess I need 40 properties then. I can do this, I know I know we can do this. How much money am I going to need to do that? Well, it all depends how quickly you want to do it. Um, if you've got 400,000 pounds, it'll take about five years. So actually, I know we can do it slightly quicker than that, perhaps with those, those kind of funds, all things being equal. But if you divide 
um, you know, the average sort of um, 100 grand, do, it, do two or two every year, then you roll that on, it's 40 properties. You can do the maths, yeah. Uh, but of course, if you've only got £200,000, it might take twice as long. If you've got £100,000, it might take you know, twice as long as that. The maths is easy backwards and forwards. Actually, sometimes you've got a little bit less money. It may take a little bit longer and things slow down until you've got over the hump. If you've got that £400,000 or somewhere in between, maybe you might even be able to do it a bit quicker because you know you can start to put the rent back, can't you? But let's just keep it really simple and not do all those um, uh, calculations. The next thing is, I'm now supporting my argument of property is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth. And sometimes when I say that, people think he's just been a bit hypey about it. And sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm just going, yeah, it's the best thing. You know, That's not what I mean in, in, in this case. In most cases, what I really mean is, what else are you going to do? So at the point where you sat there with something that's, it's an unpalatable, it's not impressed, I'm going to have to buy 40 houses. It could be hassle. Yeah, absolutely. You're right, you are going to have to buy 40 houses if you want to achieve that, and um, it could be a bit of a hassle. Spot on. What else are you going to do? You're going to sit there on, on your hands and do nothing and not earn £10,000? Or are you just going to get on with it and earn £10,000? The nice things are, and this is why I say this is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth, there's two ways of looking at that. One is, there's nothing else you can do, so you might as well get on with this. And secondly, it is actually pretty damn good. Um, by the time you've bought those 40 properties, Let's say you managed to do it in less than five years because uh, you had more than £400,000 or £400,000 but you did it a bit quicker. You saved all the pro profit from the, uh, the rent put back in or you get a Christmas bonus and you chuck it in there. At the time you've done that, you've got your income. Most importantly, you've got a lot of equity sat there as well, probably 25% on the numbers that I'm thinking of in my head of whatever the total value of all those properties is sat there in equity and that's just going up in value. So equity going up, Cash coming out every month. It's very stable and steady, let's not forget that. Um, stable and steady enough to get a mortgage on for sure. And um, you know, more stable and steady, let's look at, look at some of the alternatives. You know, putting money in stocks and shares, is it more stable than that? I'd say yes. Um, is it more profitable than putting money in stocks and shares? Yes, you know, put, put 400,000 pounds in stocks and shares, do you get 10 grand a month? No. Do you put it in the, put it in the bank, do you get? No, of course not. Um, also, you, you've got probably most of your capital intact. You've rolled it in and out the properties, in and out the properties, all 40 of them, and you've probably still got the 200,000, 400,000 pounds or whatever it is still in your back pocket. Where on earth in the world are you ever gonna get that? Settle yourself down to the fact that it's gonna be a task, you've got to do it. One of the really nice things is you can plan it. If you said, I am going to make X on stocks and shares or even running a business or whatever, it's quite hard to plan. It's quite hard to say those building blocks that I'm going to build it out of are finite. I've got plans in my business and you know we say we want to hit these milestones and rarely do we hit all of the milestones in all of the business all of the time. I can tell you now, I buy a 50 grand house, I spend 10 grand on it and it ends up being worth 75, 80,000 pounds and my rent's 500 pound a month and I don't go far wrong from that any of the time. And I know that I can just do 10, 20, 40, 80 of those, and I can just keep repeating it. And that's the basis of how, when we say, how much you want to earn in a month? That's the question we ask in these discovery days. Not all the time, it's not, not the crux of it, but it's, it, you know, it, it, sorry, it is the crux of it. It's not the whole uh, conversation. Um, we know we can stack those building blocks one on top of the other, and we can get there. It's the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth. Uh, the problem is most, most landlords don't own, own enough properties and they're not happy enough. You just need to fix those, get on and do it, and buy your 40 properties. If that's something you want to do, I did a quite a good video, if I, if I do say so myself, video series on that. I'll put a link on it, probably um, round about now on the, uh, on the end of this video, there'll be a thing saying click here and you can watch that video series. I think it's something like um, seven or eight parts, how to build a buy to let property empire. I should probably do uh, another video series at some point saying how to be a happy landlord as well. Maybe I will. Uh, bye for now. We'll see you soon.